Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another stream uh, It has been a while since I've even touched Pokemon uh, At least Pokemon Sword anyway But Today was the Day of Reckoning I mean you could say that a lot of people Are Sort of mixed on what the hell's going on um, personally, myself, I love what has happened. Um, Babe, I think you are as well, yeah? Yeah. Um, but a lot of people are being kind of... The is snap, but that's because I'm not paying 40 quid to take pictures. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> everything else I'm buzzing for and... Same here. Got goosebumps from the trailers from them and all that good stuff. Yeah. That Pokemon uh, never fails to make me do. Where in the hell? Have these guys moved their fingers box? I'm trying to do my links and I feel like these guys have moved their shirt box. Yeah, the Pokemon. There is a <sighs> lot of people on Pokemon Shield today. There's going to be a lot of people on Pokemon Sword as well. Um, uh, you know where I'm going to go? I'm going to go to the um, South Tundra. Yeah, that's where I am as well. Okay, so. We have a lot to unpack in terms of the stuff of Pokemon Presents. Um... We are obviously going to be catching Gigantamax Pikachu that started, well, according to the presentation, that started yesterday. Um, Pokemon Day is essentially tomorrow. So, and that's actually going to be our 20th, our 8th, um, 8 month anniversary. So we have Pokemon Day on our 8 month anniversary, babe. Um, that was not planned, but you know. No, it really wasn't. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, I personally am really looking forward to the stuff that's coming out. Um, you know what? Whilst I'm here, I'm going to change this goal. Um, normally I'd keep it the way it is, but we're ending this. Uh, to anybody who was wanting the rest of the DLC, I shall just buy it myself at a later time. It's only oh, four forty nine each good. now. Um, Pokemon more important than goats. Oh my god, I have so many raids to do. New Pokemon Snap. We are going to be wanting 50. Straight 50 quid. Um, I'm going to put in thingy. Uh, GBP, not USD, because I can't change it, so, you know, we're at nothing, and we'll say by the 4th, sorry, by April 30th, 2021, okay? This is just a pre-order. Um... I think everybody in the community, in the Pokemon community, is at least hyped up for one thing or another or all of them. Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, Star like Girl. people that don't agree with the remakes are even hyped up about the legends. So yeah, work by the way, in my opinion. Oh yeah, now um, we've got a lot of people camping. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we will. We will have a lot of people just like waiting for those raids. I'm gonna check mine out right now. Uh, that's a Golbat raid. Let's not do that. <laughs> that's uh, a Golbat raid. Now, we do have three wild areas, so we're going to have quite a few Gigantamax Pikachu lying about, to be fair. We don't necessarily need to stick to one. Uh, I just love Crown Tundra more, though. <laughs> Sorry to the rest of the wild areas, but, you know. Um, I'm, I've been getting a few Ordinos. Can somebody take the Rodinos back? I don't want them. 
Uh, so, yeah. so well, not home for Gigantamax Pikachu. Um, and nearer to the end, I may do some battles. Maybe in the main word. Um, but yeah, so in terms of things to talk about, uh, shall we start off with Pokemon Snap Bed? That was the uh, first thing on the presentation, yep. so. Go for it. Um. So, I'm to find this fucking so we've managed to. Red, like, and none of them have been Pikachu so far, and I'm upset. Same here, honestly. It's kind I'm of upsetting. Why am I getting whimsical? I don't know. But yeah, so. Uh, Pokemon presents today. We basically got to look at three new things Pokemon Snap, which is coming out at the end of April. That's the first thing we're going to talk about. Uh, we got to see, like, a few different things. Obviously, they still got the fruit that the Pokemon can eat. You actually got to see, like, a Vaporeon and a Tyvanatar eater. Um, and different, and apparently if you make them do different, like, poses, you get extra points and all that good yeah, shit. Yeah, just like in the original Pokemon Snap. Um, there was something new that wasn't in the original. And that was that luminous orb. Um... Which that they demonstrated, which they demonstrated on a Swanner, which was fucking majestic. Beautiful. I was majestic as all I hell. don't like swans. That's one of my biggest things. I hate swans. I'm terrified of them. I love every animal, but I swans. respect swans more than I would respect a lion. Yeah. Um, but and... Swanner, when it glowed the way it did was absolutely gorgeous knowing its own worth yeah <laughs> like, bitch i'm beautiful what you gonna do about it none of my rays here are jack animax pikachu in clown tundra that is upsetting um, you know what? let's try out of armor that's what i was thinking as well um they also used on scar bunny which Caused its um, caused its flames to go from the usual red to a nice blue. Um, I'm not really sure what shade of blue it was. To be fair, to be fair, I do that. It was like a neon blue, like a neon yeah, neon flame blue. blue. Uh, which was again really, really lovely, and I did like it. They've definitely worked harder on the graphics. And to be fair, for something that's all visual, such as Pokemon Snap, that's a good thing. You really need to do that for something where you're just taking pictures. Um, of course, a fucking judo just comes out from underneath. So, I'm quite happy with that. Also, you know, you still got a poker flute, or at least some sort of variant of it, because you're able to do tunes, uh, which we saw with Hootoot, uh, just sort of like dancing about and shit. Um, but yeah, so personally, I quite liked Pokemon Snap. It was nice. It was refreshing. There was so much stuff. If it was like half the money, I'd happily pay for it. But yeah. I'm not paying for it with pictures. <laughs> no. Nah. Um, yeah, the price is a bit ridiculous, but as usual, that's kind of the case with new games nowadays. And Like, I respect why, but... Yeah. Because yeah. they need to make the money. Uh, especially now at times, due, due to COVID, every company kind of needs to make money just to stay afloat. Um... What else was there for our Pokemon Snap there? Do you remember? Also, can I just state the name of the region is Lentil? They've named Lentil, it yeah. the Lentil region. What the hell? You've named it after a piece of food. Is there something wrong with you? Am I seriously not going to get any Gigantamax Pikachu raids? Is everybody else I just talking the Pikachu raids? I've not got a single one of you, babe. Yeah. Are they just like in the main one? I'm gonna quickly check real quick. News. I'm even doing wishing pieces and still not getting them, so. 
Lucky trainers may even encounter a shiny Pikachu. Um, if trainers success uh, to encounter these Pokemon in a max raid battle, you need it in a huh. And whenever you see a pillar of light shining from a Pokemon den in the wild area or elsewhere, you could walk. Yeah, so it's. Literally. It's literally anywhere. Uh, this event does not affect the Pokemon encountered with the uh, uh, Pokemon Den Adventures sort of thing. So yeah, mm. yeah, but yeah, the Lento region. They named the region after a bit of food. I don't know how to, how I feel about that, but huh. It's interesting, I'll give it that much. Oh god, it's a sandstorm in the forest. Oh, it was. Um, yeah, other than that, there wasn't really much new to Pokemon Snap that we didn't know before. Um, other than the fact that... Oh, babe, I found one. Yay. Other than the fact that it's potentially going to be... Um, it's essentially the same as the original. It's just up-to-date graphics, new, mm, new Pokemon. Chances are to the point where every Pokemon is going to be in the game. I feel like that's literally going to be the thing. Like, every single Pokemon could potentially be in it. Um, which I'm fine with, if I'm honest. I'm fine with that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a link code 2706. And 2020. All right, invite others. Is it you that's in the stream, babe? Yeah. Um, after that was the news of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearls. I absolutely love the fact that they are bringing a remake for Generation 4. I know a lot of people said, oh, we don't need the newer remakes of Gen 4, blah, blah, blah. They're still really good as they are, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, we are essentially, because, Bex, you've never played Generation 4, you've never played the Cinerwegian games, have you? No. No. So, this is a great chance for her to experience the games. Um, and personally, I love it as well. The graphics look really good. Um, obviously, it's nothing compared to Sword of Shield. Sword of Shield, yeah basically behind the trainer with Diamond and Pearl you're sort of like above them but I'm still quite alright with that it's not as if it impacts the game in any sort of way in terms of where the fucking camera is um, but it's nice to be able to see like the new the older characters in this new art style this new sort of graphics for the Switch so to be able to see like Chimcha Piplup and Turtwig, as well as also seeing, like, Barry and, you know, all the freaking gym leaders that we're going to see. Um, even Cyrus from uh, Team Galactic. Cynthia, which I know a lot of people, such as Rob, are going to fucking drool over when they see her. Because I'm sorry, right? Like, I know a lot of people are going to be <laughs> hating on it right now. But at the same time, the people that complain are also... But yeah, as I was saying, like, a lot of people are going to be hating... The you can all kill me because I only have Earthquake and I forgot, so deal with it. I mean, to be fair, it's just, it's just me and you. <laughs> uh, but as I was saying... Um, a lot of people are going to hate on the whole, like, 
Oh, Diamond and Pearl remakes. The only thing is, they say that, but they're still gonna buy it. Like, I'm sorry, but why buy it if you hate it? But... <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Jesus Christ. Do you not have anything else? Do you literally <laughs> just have earthquake? I literally just have earthquake, rest, and, and like a stomp and growl. <laughs> Can you do like stomp pause on us so that we're not damaging <laughs> everybody? I was like, wait a minute, this is super effective against everybody in the team. Uh -huh. <laughs> you imbecile. <laughs> um. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't do double team Pikachu. Um, but mm. yeah. Like, this is a thing. <laughs> A lot of people, a lot of people are gonna be hating on it, but they're still gonna buy it because that's what they're like. Those are the sort of people that we've got in the Pokemon community. Um, I just realized I have my friggin' um, I have oh, my leftovers on this. You have Stone Age, right? Stone Use it. that instead. <laughs> I was like, wait, what do I have? I have Stone Age. I have Stealth Rock as well, actually. Um. But yeah, I and I also hope that they've included the distortion world, because I feel like with the sort of graphics that we've got, black. sorry, I think sorry. with the sort of graphics that we've got, I think the distortion world would look really eerie and terrifying, kind of like how it did it back in Gen Four, but even better than what it was back then. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah, hopefully. They'll add in um, the distortion mode. I don't think they'll add Gigantamax. That is the one thing I don't think they'll add. Because they specifically said that this is just a gala thing in particular. Mm -hmm. So I see no reason as to why they would bring a gala thing into Sinnoh. If they do decide to do it, they better have a good explanation. That's all I'm going to say. Um, in terms of... Ooh, that quick draw. Um, in terms of gimmicks that they could bring back, well, they brought back the, un the underground, which is great, um, meaning that we can probably get um, the shield on and shit. What was the other gym for fossil? Uh, cranidos. That's it. We could potentially see shield on and cranidos. Obviously, you know, me and Bex will get opposite versions. We'll trade and everything. Uh, won't we, babe? I'm probably gonna get diamond. Yeah, I was thinking of getting pearl because I like Palkia. So we'll get different versions. We'll switch over the whole, you know. We'll switch over the different um, exclusives. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we do for Pokemon Shield. Yeah. We'll catch two of each, one for me and then one for her. And we'll just switch over the exclusives without any issues. Uh, make it easy for us both. And hopefully... There's new Pokemon Yeah, there's new Pokemon game. Yeah, Pokemon. Hopefully they'll actually add back the Battle Frontier, like the proper Battle Frontier. In a what Pokeball should I catch it in Rocky? Hmm. I'm going for a Dusk Ball, personally. I still have, like, four Master Balls, so <laughs> I can go in the Ball. Hold on, I feel coming. Thank you. Thank you. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I don't think they'll bring back Dragonimax. If they bring Dragonimax... Oh, I didn't in... catch it! 
Me Good neither. Me neither. Don't worry. Me neither. Ooh, thank you for the large candies. <laughs> Oh now. my god, yeah. Jesus. That's <laughs> a, holy damn. PPLs, rare candies, big nuggets as well. Jesus. Um. I got a fucking Dadini. Oof. Go away. Don't give me a Dadini from a fucking wishing star. Don't do that. Yeah, don't. Don't don't give a Pikachu clone. Give her the actual Pikachu. Gardos, leave me alone. But yeah, um, yeah, Gigantamax, I don't think is going to be the case. Um, obviously we've got the underground, as I said. So, um, secret bases will be a thing. So, most likely. Which is great. Uh, because I liked being able to have my own little secret base and decorating it and everything. I never got to do it for Generation 4, but I did get to do it for Generation 3. Um, I know where it is. I'll follow you. Uh, that's the thing. Also, because of that, uh, Spiritomb will actually be catchable for me this time because, like, doing it on an emulator, I had to like actually do a code to get Spiritomb like normally. I'm not gonna have to do that this time. I like that. Um, what else is there? Anything, if they do decide to bring back a gimmick from one of the games that's not, you know, that's not Jack Animax, that's not from the original Diamond and Pearl, mm -hmm. I pretend there is a slight potential that they may bring back Megas. I don't think they will. It's a very high chance that they won't. But you can still never rule it out. Okay, so I've got another... Got another one here. Um, you know what? I'm going to use my shiny time intro for this one. I've got a fucking crammer on. Cool. It's alright, I've got another Dragonimax Pikachu. We only really need us two for it, so... I wouldn't really worry about it. Anything at this rate. Hey, I've got one! Ah, oh, so do I. I've got a five star. Same. Yep. Alright, I'm going to do mine first, which is now up. But yeah, so... As I say, like... There's... There is a high chance that they won't bring back Mega Evolution. But you can never fully rule it out. Because I feel like they've been hearing the cries of the people saying that they um, want Mega Revolution back. It's not coming up. Oh, is it not? No. Um, okay, let me just redo it then. <clears throat> yeah, as... <clears throat> As I'll be trying to say, uh, there is that side chance where they may have been hearing the people saying that, oh, we want Mega Revolution back. <coughs> and that could be the case that they bring back Mega Revolution. I wouldn't say no to that. I really wouldn't. Okay, it's up now. Try now. Yep. Yep. Um, because, you know, it'd be good to see, like, Mega Garchomp again. And maybe even a few other megas. Hey, Greenview, how are you? Uh, we're Hi, just coming. we're just talking about the uh, Pokemon Presents that's just happened. Uh, some potential things for the new remakes for Generation Four. So yeah. <clears throat> oh, I thought and. Babe, quick start. Quick ready. Babe. Not 
great. I'm playing with my Pokemon. Oh. You want me? You want me to lose that dunk off? Oh. But yeah. Um, we've already talked about Pokemon Snap. Uh, we're still kind of talking a bit about the new Pokemon remakes for Generation 4. I'm buzzing about Legends. The graphics cannot be matched. Yeah. Um, we'll get <laughs> on to that in a minute. Um, as soon as I saw it, um... I was in Terry and Pom! Fucking damn it. Uh, to be honest, no matter what happened, this isn't the thing to excite me. Was never a big fan, big Gen Four fan. But Legends was Legends pretty, cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'll go through uh, Gen Four, like, because as I was saying, um, I don't think that there's a chance they'll bring. I don't think there's a possibility of them bringing back Megas, but if they ever do, that would be nice. Uh, seeing them in this sort of graphics and this sort of playstyle. But I don't think it'll happen. I love Gen 4. I know obviously some people weren't, such as yourself, Green Bue, and that's fine. You've got an actual reason to not be excited for this. But there are some people who are bitchy as hell, but will still buy the freaking games anyway. Because why the hell not? You know? Um... But yeah, if they do bring back Mega Zamis, Mega Garchomp, I wouldn't honestly mind seeing a Mega Staraptor. I wouldn't mind that, personally. Um, no, I can really need a freaking Mega, to be fair, but it would still be kind of nice to... fight a fucking Pikachu. Uh, a... No, fuck AI. Why it's do an you... AI, yeah. Uh, as for... Pokemon Legends. Arceus. That looked freaking gorgeous. Open world, you are literally just catching all the Pokemon in the environment. You actually get to see them actually use physical moves. Like close combat. You actually see them go towards the opponent and actually do the hits and everything. Oh, I've got bulldoze. God damn it. So, yeah, you do. Fuck. Um, so, yeah, so I feel like Pokemon Legends is nice. That's definitely going to be something for me and Bex as a, like, a whole completionist thing and an mm-hmm. exploration thing. Because um, we'll get to go all over. And quite interested in the starters because they chose Cyndaquil... Violet and Oshawott. I'm very happy for those who are happy, and I may buy it. I feel like a remake could fix a lot of problems with Diamond Yeah, mm-hmm. at least you're willing to give it a try in Green View, and that's the thing I like about you. Despite the fact that you have issues with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and potentially Platinum, um, if you had any for Platinum, uh, you're still willing to give this a try to see if it does fix any of your problems. Most people just bitch and complain, but they still buy it nonetheless, and then they still bitch and complain afterwards, despite the fact that they'll still play it for God knows how long. They'll play it for memes. Yeah, like, they'll just play it for memes, and that's it. It's the same with anybody who hated Sword and Shield. They still freaking play it, just just for the sake of it, just for the memes. And I'm kind of tired of that, because... That's not what the Pokemon community should be about. You, If you enjoy Pokemon, you enjoy playing the games. That's why you play it. It's why you're part of the community. You're a part of the right. community. Can you get in my bowl now this time, please? Yeah. You're a part of the community because you actually like Pokemon. Can you like you like playing the I games. The you like watching the oh. anime. You like what reading the manga, if you're a manga fan. Um, you know, you play the fan games like me. You play the, the ROM new hacks Pokemon like games me. coming out, by the way. Well, there's two. I'm buying them. I am. Not now, just when they come out. Which is like later this year. Get in my ball, you sick little... Mm. Mm, mine's dead and... I'm conscious fucking Pikachu, Rocky. <laughs> so, uh, you might catch yours. 
What are you catching yours with? A dust ball? Yeah. Right. I'm not doing anything wrong. No, they're just being extremely harder to catch, that's all. Oh, he's got a light ball, yo! Fuck yeah. Ooh! Let me check that Pikachu real quick. Does he have Vault Taco? Two, seven, zero, six, two. Is this a Pikachu that I just caught? No, that one's a different one. That's the one I bred. I'm ready when you are. Rising Voltage. Ooh, you got right. You got Surf as well. Uh... But yeah, um, I'm quite interested in this side as I've chosen for Pokemon Legends because it's Cyndaquil, which I adore. Uh, what's it called, babe? Is this it? Same as I've been using, or? Yeah. But yeah. Um, Cyndaquil, I just absolutely adore. I absolutely love um, Cyndaquil to death. It's just so cute, and I love it. It's one of my favorite Gen 2 starters. Um, then there's obviously... Um, Oshawa, which... Back in Generation 5, he was unloved. I felt bad for Oshawa. He was a starter that was unloved in Gen 5 by quite a lot of people. And then you got Vowler, which was one of Gen 7's favorites, because, you know, sneaky owl archer, you know what I mean? So, they've definitely chosen... Um... Uh, oh, the three legends start when probably choosing Cyndaquil as for Sinnoh, probably Turtwig. I feel like I'm definitely going to choose Cyndaquil for legends. Um, for the Sinnoh remakes, I may go Piplop or Chimchar. Turtwig. Cyndaquil and Turtwig. You're, you've chosen your love by heart, haven't you? Yep. Um... Yeah, I'm Cinderella all... will always have my heart, and Turtwig's just adorable. Mm. No matter what. You cannot make Turtwig ugly. No, you Oh, can't. this is my shiny one! Shit, I didn't realise. Yeah. Oshawa well, seems to have gotten a lot one. more appreciation in recent years. This one only has Landsrath. So I will warn you, this one only has Landsrath. Does Landsrath hit everybody? No, it doesn't. Uh, You're fine, Or then. Max Quake. It has Max Quake instead. It doesn't matter. I'll just... Yeah. But yeah, true, Oshawa does seem to have gotten a lot more appreciation in recent years, especially in the trading card game. Uh, there's been a lot more of the Samalot line in the trading card game, especially the most recent part. That's a big shiny. <laughs> That's yeah, a big is. shiny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, so personally, I feel like. Um, Oshawa could be one for my legends, but I feel altogether I'm going to choose um, Cyndaquil. I feel like I'm definitely choosing Cyndaquil for legends at the moment. I would say Vowlet, but it's not been all that long since I've played with Vowlet in Sun and Moon as well as in this. Like, you know, I could still sort of have my, I could still have a decidui with its hidden ability and shit, and I'm just like, am I really all that bothered about having it in, um, in Legends? Not particularly. It doesn't... Like, we're gonna collect all of them regardless. Like, yeah. that's... So... And, like, if we're able to breed and trade, that would be great. I think we should be. We should be able to. Uh, that would be great. Okay, now look, I, don't re I don't really see why there would be a reason not to. Mm. Especially for the basics. like. Yeah, especially for the starters as well. Because like, not everybody is going to... That, 
did a bit Thing. of an ouch for the yeah. whole Pikachu. Yeah, I did. We do have a chance of trying to get shiny. I'll try to get a shiny one, so definitely go into as many as you can. What does a shiny Pikachu even fucking look like? Um, I think it's like, like more yellow. Lighter yellow, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a lighter yellow. Shiny Pikachu. It's literally just lighter. Yeah. It's just like a brighter yellow. It's like an orangey yellow. Yeah. That's literally all it is. Yeah. I feel like they may do some breeding. I don't because of Wait, how no, no, I... Togepi. Oh. Because of the time period it's set in. Like we're talking really ancient well not ancient but really old Sinnoh. So before the actual Sinnoh games, before Diamond and Pearl takes place in it. Um I've got 995 Pokeball Dust Balls. Try me. Nice. One thing I noticed about the remakes is it me or do we go back to the tile system for each remake? We ha I have noticed that we do seem to go back to the old tile system, which is got you, you little bastard. fine with me, if I'm honest. I don't mind that <laughs> because. At the end of the day, like, yes, Little I know, girl. we can't. Yeah, that's a good one. Like, we can still move in, up, down, left, right, and, you know, all the diagonals. Granted, it's not as flowy as this, as Sword and Shield. That's not going to be a game breaker for me. I don't expect that to be the case for every single Pokemon game in the entire freaking world. To be fair, I don't mind the tile system if it's done well. If it's glitchy, then yeah, I'll absolutely fucking hate it. But, no, no, oh, that... what she got for me? What has she got? What has she got? What has she got? How old I am? Light ball. Yeah. So, if you were to breed that Pikachu with another Pikachu, it would essentially have Vault Taco. Oh, mine does. The one I caught from yours does have Vault Tackle, babe. Oh. I haven't checked mine yet. Hold on. Check tomorrow. Um. Yeah, Hasty yeah. nature. Okay. Mine has Vault Tackle. Oh, five IVs with only speed being decent. Yo, that's not bad. <laughs> I've known. <laughs> I've known. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying earlier, the distortion world stuff. Seeing if we actually get to go into the distortion world would be really nice. Um, I feel like they'll do that the same way they sort of did it with Rayquaza and Deoxys Wait, and Emerald. You said 5 IV, yeah? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Sound, sound, sound. I feel like with the whole distortion world, they'll do it the same way they did with getting Deoxys in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, where it's basically a post story, you know, you've become the champion, you are now the one to protect the world from something, you know, maybe Cyrus is doing something, and he ends up summoning Giratina, and you get sucked into the distortion world. Kind of like how in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire it was. Um, there's a meteor falling to Earth. Which contains Deoxys. You've got to go up on Rayquaza and stop it from actually, you know, coming down. You know what I mean? Like, um, I feel like that could be the case. Hey, Ruin. Hey, Ruin. Yeah, you stopped subbing. You got a sub on Tuesday? I mean, that's fine. You can do it if you want. In my opinion, the Delta episode... Mm. For the Delta episode when it came to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I knew it wasn't going to be long. I knew that. I knew it was just going to be this short thing where we could ride on friggin' Mega Rayquaza. But... 
the story behind it, like, I love the fact that we got to know Zinnia, we got a bit of a backstory, and how she basically confirmed that there are alternate... Oh, yeah, really? Um, I like the fact that she basically confirmed that there are alternate uh, realities, there are alternate universes in the Pokemon world. Um... Because the scientists basically tried to use the link box to get the meteor out of the way of the earth that that, that it was about to hit. But by doing so, it would take I it to another universe. Rare Hulu. Oof. A fucking rare Hulu. I got a mean show. I need to clear I'm out my know. raids. I, want, I need to clear out my raids on Isle of Armor. I'm just using, I'm just spamming wishing stars. I've got like 400. Mm, I would hop on to Pokemon with you, but for every default change. Yeah, but. Yeah, Pikachu. but. <laughs> yeah, but Pikachu's. Yeah, I know. Ultra Sun and Moon co confirm the alternate realities thing, but to be fair, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire's Delta episode did that before, so. They kind of get the credit for it. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, I really, I really did like it. I really loved the Delta episode, and I hope we do get stuff like that again. Um, it definitely was fan service. I will admit. But can you really blame them? I mean, they want to make the fans happy as best as they can, and still make it good. So. Uh, there's a chance of uh, the Pikachu being shiny, yes. Just a gigantic max Pikachu, so it's just the same. It's just the same, yeah. It's just you've got a chance of it being <laughs> shiny and also a chance of it having Volt Tuckle, so you don't even need to breed for Volt Tuckle. Which I already have! Well, we already have. Yeah. Yeah, all us was basically. Five IV. On a 5IV one, mind we, mind we had. Yeah. Minus speed. That was literally the only thing that was yeah. wrong with it. But you can just bottle cap it. You need speed. But yeah. All that was basically a love letter to true Pokemon fans. And i actually okay with that. Because it shows that they do care. <laughs> Ruin's like, it's fine, I'll get on. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> He can't help himself. He really can't. You can, can come hunt with us. Um. Got another Primeran. What the fuck? Go away. You're not going lucky, are you, babe? I'm getting literally the shittest bastards. I'm either getting something that gives you a Pikachu in its mouth, or <sighs> Pikachu horns. But no, I really did like the Delta episode, and I really liked all that in general. Um, and I kind of wish I had a 3D, a 3DS capture card, but I didn't have one at the time, and I don't even have my 3DS anymore, so all that is, like, not even possible for me. Yes, I know there's a 3DS emulator before anybody says I'll, but I ain't risking that thing because I don't fully trust it. <laughs> um... I will say, Aras was my favourite games, Gen 6 and onwards, but Home was my childhood. It was designed for me to love it. Yeah, it was the same for me, like... Um... Snorlax. A fucking Snorlax. Five-star Snorlax. <clears throat> really? Really? I could get that on the bridge two minutes away! Sorry, someone got a freaking deli bird. I wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> At least deli bird gives you gifts at the end. Yeah, true. At least get something good off of it. <sighs> Why is it snowy? Light blue 101. Hey man, DPP remake are fine, but the Pokemon themselves look too plasticky without a black outline. I mean, true, but again, like... I just want to state, graphics is not everything to a Pokemon game. If graphics is what puts you off, then there's something Good. wrong. If graphics is what puts you off, 
buy glasses. If graphics is what puts you off, then why are you playing Pokemon? Like, a lot of people complain about the fucking trees in this not being the same as fucking Breath of the Wild. Fuck off. It's a tree. I get that they look a bit plasticky, but to be fair, they come out later this year. They may make them a bit better. But Give it be time. Fair, there's a flying bird made of machinery. If yeah. you're worried about the trees, you've got too much involvement. Yeah. <laughs> like, I am perfectly fine with the Pokemon looking the way yeah, they are. Yay. Ruin. 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 Yeah, to be fair, everyone, did you did you see the trailer for Diamond and Pearl remakes? Because it's kind of like that chibi style. Kind of. It's not 100%, but it's kind of like it. So yeah, I find people that complain about graphics like, Oh my god, these rocks are in high definition. I'm sorry. Get the hell out. Because you, you are the people that nitpick at everything. To be honest, I'm the weirdo who would rather a 2D sprite based game than 3D, but that's just my style. Never was a fan of the open world trend. I like the open world ones. Yeah, Ruin, it came out today. Pokemon Presents was today. Right, there you go. Same code, you've got three minutes. 2706 2020. Five star Pikachu! Mars are not coming up. Nah, it's not going up for me. Damn it. Yeah, yeah Pokemon Presents was today. You actually got to. Have Fear back on the switch. Ugh. Boy! Oh, dude. But yeah, today was Pokemon Presents, Ruin, so... You could have called the Diamond and Pearl remakes, like, what they actually looked like and everything. Um... And I will admit, like, for Pokemon, the open world sort of style doesn't really go with it. Um, but I have high hopes for Pokemon Legends. Cause but that is... No, I think it does go with it, babe. Because at the end of the day, you're a 10, 11 year old kid getting yeeted out into the world to go fight massive creatures 15 times the size of you. You wouldn't have a fucking clue what to do. True. That's kind of why I'm liking the open world idea. Because... For Pokemon Legends, yeah. Yeah. I feel like for some people, um, it's it's a matter of like. I see some potential. No, yeah, same green. Yeah. Same with that. I see a lot of potential in Legends. Don't get me wrong, I do. By open world, I mean like. Because a lot of people. Hmm. Is it coming up now? No. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I just needed to give it a bit of time so it would allow me to refresh. Where's my other Zygod? See, oh, fuck, I'm using my shiny one again, man. Again. A lot of people have issues with open world. The password didn't match. Where did you put the password off? 2706-2000. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll come in now that I know the actual code. <laughs> we didn't meet 20 years ago, babe. I know that. That'd be weird if we did. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. Some people with Pokemon, they don't like the idea of open world because they like the whole gyms and things like that. Don't get me wrong. I can understand that and, you know, suck it up. Because <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's nice on the fact that 
Pokemon are trying to Ruin, hurry up. change things up. That's essentially what they're doing. They are trying to change things up. And I like that. And congrats on them for doing so. Because at the end of the day, if you continue with the same thing, you've heard a lot of people say, oh, it's always the same thing. Oh, it's so boring. Screw off then. Why play it if you find if you're that way? I'd really like to see the idea of open world Pokemon in the style of Crystal Clear if it if it is don't open world styled. I know where uh, don't came from in that sentence. No, neither do I. Yeah, like. Or even in the uh, style of s not all, but some of the Pokemon fan games. There's a few fan games that are like fully 3D. Ones that I will never play because they will break my laptop. And probably blow it up. But, um, Bro, yeah. The, 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 <laughs> the whole idea of open world, I do... Personally, for me, it's a new venture, so they're gonna really? have to be careful with it. So as long as they're careful with it, but still do it to meet people's expectations, I think Legends could go down pretty well. And that's what I'm hoping for. There is a lot of potential there, I will admit. And that is what I'm hoping for. I am hoping for that potential to be met. Essentially. I'm a big snake. I'm a sun castle. You're a sun castle. I'm a big snake. Yeah, I brought my palette. I don't like the way that they angle the camera, so it looks like his tail's got a bit of a mohawk. <laughs> I don't like it. First time I've heard anybody complain about that. <laughs> Does it not look like a mohawk from the side that they're showing? <laughs> nah, not really, because that's too far back. No, but when I first saw it, I was like, what the fuck is that? Turn him around. Oh, it's his tail. Why is it so thin? From the trailer, I'm pleased, but that's not a $60 game. I'll pay 40 You know for dance yes. facts that they're going to put it up to $60. You know for a damn fact they will because it's Pokemon. And people that's are. My, that's my still point with Snap as well. That is not a 50 quid game. You take pictures. Yeah. You can do that with Pokemon Go and that's for free. Yeah. That I will admit is a bit ridiculous. Hence why I've like got I it as a go. I'm paying for the actual merchandise and the name. Yeah. But I'm not paying 30 quid for 8 left. Yeah. It's the reason why I've got it as a go. It's optional. Like, it's not going to be something I'm going to go out of my way to get right away. Whereas the other two games, because they're full-fledged games, I don't mind. Yeah. Whereas taking pictures and posing Pokemon, you're not paying 60 quid for. No. Well, not even 60. It's 50 for us. 60, 60, 60 for them, 50 for us. But, you know. I do hope for an episode after. Hmm. I do feel like they'll do something because we never got Arceus in the original Diamond Pearl Platinum games. We can't get Arceus in here either, can we? No. But have you noticed most of the Generation 4 Pokemon are the ones that are missing? Yeah. Like, we've got a few, like Garchomp, I believe, but mm -hmm. we, don't have all, we don't have a majority of them. That's what a lot of people sort of took Expected. as a hint. Took as a hint. Yeah. A lot of people took that as a hint that there's going to be a Gen 4 remake. Um, but you wanted a remake for the game. I remember oh, yeah. like, the first couple of the days that I met you, the first things that we com conversated about was what the next remake was going to be. Yeah. And I did feel like a Gen 4 remake would be, would be on the horizon. And I was right. Um, Mega Evolution probably going to return. I, I 
there's a high chance it won't. I'm gonna say there's a high chance it Will Bosch won't. Will Bosch and Lucario get their own battle scene in the trailer? Because that's significant. True. True. But... Like, it's little Easter eggs. Well, not even Easter eggs. It's little, like, hints. Why didn't you get in my ball, you little shit? That's there's a, there's a possibility... But I don't feel like it's going to be significantly high. If they bring back Megas, I'm all for it, so long as they make some new ones as well. Like, for the love of God, like, Mega Dusk Noir. Like, Jesus Christ, imagine what that thing would look like as a Mega. No. Mega Staraptor. Mega Staraptor, I think, would be really nice. Ooh, I've got a rare one. What's in the rare one? A fucking bishop. Garchomp and Gallade was for Legends. Garchomp and Gallade had a fight scene in Legends. Uh, Greenview, I think that's the one you're confusing it with. Um. Really cute. If. If we do manage to get... Did you catch that one from my den, by the way? Yeah, I did. I've caught both of yours so yeah. far. <laughs> I didn't. Um, if they bring back Mega Evolutions, Mega Star After would be really nice. Mega Dusk Noir, just for the sake of the creep factor of what they could do with that. I'm sorry, but I do love Dusk Noir, and I would love a Mega Dusk Noir. Um, what else could there be in Mega? Obviously, they've got to do the starters. If they don't do the starters, I'd be really disappointed. Like, friggin' Mega Empoleon, Mega Infernape, and Mega uh, Torterra. Those would look... I want all the Mega Eevees. <laughs> a Mega... <laughs> Mega Eevee. Just all the Mega Evolutions. They'd probably do that and then just put the Mega Stone as like one whole Mega Stone. <laughs> just like the Evite from uh, Insurgents. <laughs> just like, this'll oh, do any rare. this'll do any oh. Eevee evolution. This will Mega Evolve any Eevee evolution. <laughs> um, But no, yeah, I really feel like Something oh <laughs> interesting. Imagine, imagine, imagine a mega. <laughs> a mega what? Do you want to not oh. laugh and actually say it? A mega club chew. Uh, megas have only ever been fully evolved Pokemon in the uh, actual main game. Yes, I know, but imagine a mega club chew though. My oh, God, woman. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I. I'm all down for Mega Evolution as long as they give new ones. Because otherwise we'll be waiting until the end Does of the Kakaraga game. Have a mega? No. Uh, so Mega Evolutions was a Gen 6 and 7 thing. Uh, they were not a thing in Gen 8. Hence why Lokani right. kind of gone down in usage. Hence why more wilds gone down in usage. Um... Like, some of the OU and close to Uber Pokemon, due to how often they were using shit, have gone down in tiers. Uh, because they're not used. They're not used anymore, because they've lost their Megas. Uh, so, you know. Got another rare. Let's see what we get. A fucking Mr. Rhyme. I'm now imagining Mega Tank Growth as just Biolante from Godzilla. Oof. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that, if I'm honest. Yeah, Pokemon Legends Arceus, on the other hand. I really love that. Um, that has the possibility of having Megas, Z-Moves, Giganamax, depending on how they decide to do it. Mega Waylord. No, oh, don't even. <laughs> don't even. Actually, no, Waylord was a Gen 3, and if they're doing a faithful one, 
I don't think Waylord was in Gen 4. Surprise. So. Babe, we've got Gigantamax. Sorry, not Gigantamax. We've got Waylord that can Dynamax in here. Isn't that know, enough for but... you? No. <sighs> um, it will never be enough until it fills the stadium. <laughs> Pretty much does that already in Dynamax. But, you know. Um, Sudabodo? Nah. Sudabodo was generation this 2. This turns into a treat. Oh, I've got another one. Bruin, are you coming or am I doing this one without you as well? Right, it's the proper code now. What? <laughs> right, I want you to get it up. Come on, guys. Right, there we go. Yeah, um, yeah, Pokemon Legends is a definite buy for me and Bex. Um, I'm like beyond buzzing for sort of them. So, Legends looks like a mix of Pokemon and Breath of the Wild. Yeah, maybe there's the older fans who liked Pokemon so much will actually be happy now. Fucking hell. Ruben, are you joining? This, so, tell me what Pokemon you're going to bring, because I'm thinking of maybe bringing my, uh, my Mary Puffing. <laughs> Neutralizing gas. Imagine Mega Rotom. Ooh. Yo, imagine all the different forms of Mega Rotom as well, like, in its... Oh, do you think they'd only do it for the one form? Hmm. I turned on my switch and got hypnotized by Bravely Default 2. Ugh. Are you coming, yes or no? By the sounds of that, no, because he's hypnotized by Bravely Default 2. Imagine Mega Polygon Z. Ooh. That would be nice. As long as it kept the adaptability uh, ability. And up to special attack even more, just to... <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that would be deadly. Uh, I don't know how I'd feel about Mega Magmodel or Electivire. I really don't. May as well start, babe. I don't think he's coming. Mega uh, and Polion. Mega and Polion, I feel, would be really badass as hell. I think it would look awesome. Oh, yeah. wings I feel like it'd shield. be like either straight up badass and awesome, or they somehow fuck it up. Um, just imagine Mega Tortilla and Mega Infinite as well. Like, Infinite! <laughs> like, just grows an extra pair of arms. <laughs> Why not? Becomes like a Shaolin monk sort of thing. Shaolin yeah. Monk Monkey. Beyblade for monks. <laughs> oh god, I'd love that actually. Um But yeah, no, like as if they do bring back megas, I would be more than happy with it as long as they made new ones to go with the Generation 4 Pokemon, because otherwise we'll wait until post-game to get the rest of the Pokemon and get in the Mega Stones. And I don't want you that because... Do you DLC for the remake? There's a possibility, but I doubt it. I highly doubt they do DLC for a remake. To be honest, I'd like a Mega Luxator against a fire type. Yo, that would be sick. I would be more than down for that. I would be well more I just want than... a Mega Ninetales. It's not so hard. No. Whether they'll actually do it or not is different though. I just want a Mega Ninetales. Just make it have like 400 tails. Nothing hard about that. Hmm. Make it gorgeous flowing hair, 
bush bush tail that fills half the stadium. Nothing that hard. <laughs> you know. Can't even, see, can't even see the chain, all you see is the tails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until it does its attack and you get to or see the front of you. Are you going to up with its tail and like, put it on its head? Sort of thing like this? Mm. <laughs> can't be that hard to me. Dude, first Dude, battle frontier first since you know the... If they do do DLC, it, it did have a Battle Frontier. If they do do a DLC, it better be a Battle Frontier that we had in mm. Platinum. You won't believe it until I see it. But I don't think that we will actually get the Battle Frontier that we all loved so much. I highly doubt we'll get it. And that's the bit that pains me. But this is why I don't have my expectations for it. If I don't have my expectations for it, I won't be disappointed. What about the money? We've got the underground. The underground is back. And I love the underground. Um... Don't mind about it. Hmm? Green stuff. Still mad about ours. Oh, yeah, because um, we didn't have the battle frontier in all of us like we should have. Um, I think, what did we have? Some sort of like battle palace or battle. It wasn't the battle frontier, it was just like this one facility seen over by these four girls, and that was it. There was no battle frontier which had multiple facilities doing many different things. And that's the upsetting thing. The only good thing about that place was it is. The mansion? Mason? I don't know. Begin with an M. Uh, no, that was in X and Y. Was it? Uh huh. Oh, right here. Unless, yeah, I think. Battle Resort! Battle Resort was basically. Platinum. Yeah, Battle Resort was Platinum sort of thing. Where it was like. Mm -hmm. All the stuff. Like, you had the Battle Frontier in one area, you had a sort of, like, relaxation area where you could have, like, your own little luxury uh, bungalow uh, which you could decorate and get all the decorations for and everything. Uh, battle Resort, blah, 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 Mini Battle, Battle Leaders, no, I don't want to be about it. Right, you're looking yeah, up Gen 6, though. So. Will we get improved contests? Yeah, contests I think will come back because it. Okay, okay. How are you catching all of mine, but I'm not? I don't know. Like, what is this bullshit? I don't know. What are you using? Just dust balls? Yeah. The fog is coming back. No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> now Zapdos Boyo can get defog again. With his hidden <laughs> ability! Simon, look at this! Can you see my game? Can you see my live screen? Uh huh. What the hell are they giving away? The gaming chair, a personalized game power report from Game Academy, free access to the base course, three expansion packs for Game Academy services. Merchandise and free access to game base course. Yo, okay, I'm quickly doing something real quick. <laughs> AKA a lot of good things. Stop giving me Mr. Rhymes, I don't want them. Terrifying. And to now. Actually, let me see, do I have Zapdos? Oh, fuck, like, you get like, multiple things. Follow on Twitter, follow on Twitter, subscribe to the newsletter, join the server. I'm also annoyed to deal with it out of battle. Yeah, like, I can understand, but Defog was only on the one route, so... It wasn't really that bad. You know? Well, 
Right. I'm already following that on Twitch. You know, what? I'll do these after thingy. I'll do these after stream. Just close that down for now. But I'll do that after stream. Remind us. Yeah. God damn it, Twitter Gen 5 it's is trending. One day since Gen 4 got announced. Gen 5 is trending. <laughs> yeah. And so it starts. And so it starts. This is the thing. Everybody has seen Gen 4 remakes happen. So now they'll think Gen 5 won't happen. Alright, I'm going to see if I've got, like, the normal Cantonians out there. You do, don't you? I should you do. got to have somebody. I've got the Galarian. It's in your party, you twat. No, that's the oh, Galarian. I'm on about Cantonian. Press your box list, it'll come up. Yeah, I did. I pressed search for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's here. Is it a hidden ability? It is. Oh. My boy could get defog. I can just bring it over and I can get defog. Yes. I'm happy with that. Defog I'm grateful if they're already one in a Gen 5. I guess it's Gen 10 for Black and White Remix. I mean, doesn't really surprise me. That seems to be how it's been so far, like Gen 6 for Generation 3 remakes. Uh, then we had Gen 7, which had no remakes at all. It was just you know Sun really Moon, Ultra Sun, Moon. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, is that fucking tower thing? What do you mean, the towers? Tower of Water and Tower of Darkness. Yeah, like that was a one-time thing. They could have done so much more to it. Yeah, they could have. But sadly, they didn't. Because I like the idea of training one Pokemon up, but it's sad that you can literally only do it once with one Pokemon. Yeah. Like, imagine if you could do that with any Pokemon and have it learn, like, Dark-type moves. Oh, yeah. Would have been nice. But hey, uh... Oh, managed to get one. Nice. I right, got the, uh, the grind is real, so I'll hit you all up later. Alright, Ruin. See you later, buddy. Hey. Um, you know what? I'm gonna want a Volt Absorber. Zebra I know I know I normally don't use you, but you're my only good Volt Absorber, so you're coming in. <laughs> I don't. My God, you love me. <laughs> right. I feel like that's all my Pokemon right now because like I haven't played Pokemon in a while. Apart from Pokemon Insurgents, but like I've not played Pokemon Sword and Shield for a while. <laughs> it's just a like rare on it, really. Right, mine's up, Dave. Mine is up. Now I'm questioning how yeah. many Pokemon Snap will have, have in it. I feel like all of them. 700. I feel like it will genuinely have all, or at least nearly all. Like at least a good 700. To the last lot, if not every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Because see, you... I don't think I'll have every single one. I generally, because taking pictures of that many Pokemon. Yeah, just but... for you to literally just take pictures of them. Yeah, I know it would seem a bit strange, but you got to think we're doing it in the environment. And I think that's going to be the most appealing thing to most people. You get to see the environments that they're normally in. Mm. Like, we could have another thing where Moltres is in the volcano. Like we did in the original Pokemon. Snap. Yeah, but... I know it definitely seems like a big waste of time, and I would admit that I would. But it would also be like this nice little thing, you know? Because the original has 200 in. Yeah, it does. What name? Lentil. I can't believe what this is. I can't believe the region is called Lentil. Fuck my life. <laughs> 
Yeah, let's name it after a bit of veg, yeah? Big plums that included Katy Perry? Excuse me? Oh, no. Shut up. No. Shut up. No. Don't. Don't ruin the 25th anniversary for me. No, this is what's happening. Perry is the first in star-studded lineup of music stars signed up to something called P25. Collection of artists... Yeah, it's happening tomorrow. We'll help celebrate it. Mm, it's happening tomorrow. Because tomorrow's Pokemon Day. So the, it's all happening tomorrow. Um, Beyond that, we, what else will we see? With, well, with the Sword and Shell expansions now released, the stage is cleared for new Pokemon games on the Switch. Which is we what we saw today. more about the Detective Pikachu movie sequel. Hmm. Huh. Didn't know they were going to do a sequel to it. Interesting. It was hinted at. I don't think it was ever fully released, like, publicly, mm. but it was hinted at. I don't know where. Go back. Go back one. Go back a page. New Pokemon Snap releases in April with over 200 creatures to film. So there's actually only... So there's at least 200 Pokemon. In Pokemon Snap. In the new Pokemon Snap, there's going to be 200. At the very least. And we'll judge your snaps. Hmm. Thing we just took a look at. The trailer shows some of the species to expect in the mix of old and new creatures from across the series alongside a broad range of environments. That's some kind of story element to the game. They're illuminated. Mm -hmm. by fans. Twitter is a love hate relationship right now, dealing with Gen 5 trending and people complaining about Switch Pro at the same time. Very much a <laughs> hate day. I don't get why people are already wanting a Gen 5 remake. Gen because 4 remakes one, have one just been released. They jump ahead. But Gen 4, there was nothing to hint at Gen 5. Gen 4 remakes have just been announced. Literally. Literally, like, an hour ago. Literally an hour ago. Gen 4 remakes were announced. And I don't understand why the Pokemon community does this to themselves. Because if they make a Gen 4, then they've got to make a 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10. Yeah, but then it's just a vicious cycle because... I'm sorry, but Gen we... 4 after Gen 3 got announced, exactly. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a perpetual thing, and I think the Pokemon team do know that. Like, they're not... They're not stupid, true. But... I'm down for a shit, you can finish this one off by yourself, I'll be right there. We don't need to, you know what I mean? She just killed it. Um, but, like, this is the thing. If all you're wanting is more and more and more, think about the fact that we're on the Switch. I can maybe see Gen 6 being done. Gen 7, no. Well, there's a possibility of Gen 7 being redone. Gen 8, however, no. Gen 8 was the first game on the Switch. They ain't remaking it. Not unless we're like 20 years in the future with a brand new console and everything. You know what I mean? I don't... I don't see it happening. I'm sorry, but I don't. Um, 4 and 5... Yeah, I can somewhat see that happening. 4, obviously, because it is. 5... Potentially. The only thing is, which would they do? Black and white, or black and white 2? You know what I mean? Like... Or would they have... Or would they basically do both stories? They like... You play through Black 1, and then play through Black 2. You know what I mean? I don't think the people have fully thought through Gen 5 remakes. 
and that's the bit that I feel is going to disappoint them if we do because I've never played Gen 5. I've not Hello, once done... Back. Welcome back, babe. I've not I once played... Gen 1, skipped all of them, yeah. and then came the Gen... And came the Sword and Shield. Only because I got you back into Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that, Green View. I remember Spoilers, that. Spoilers, I didn't catch it. Neither did I. I Neither did I, to be fair. Um, but yeah, as uh, as I was just saying, now I've never played Gen Five, but I know for a fact that it's black, white, and black, white, black two and white two. If they were to do a remake, how would they do it? Because you've got two two stories in Gen Five, both in the same region. Both in the same region. So what exactly would you do with that sort of thing? Because unless you are planning to remake two games to be in the same at region the same time. at the same time, that's not really going to go over well. Because you're always going to leave one out. Yeah. They could, but I don't think they would do two sets of remakes. If they did, that would be ridiculous. Now, but it's harsh for the community to expect that. Yeah, I think it's, it's way too harsh. And if the community expects that, then they need to lower their expectations. Pokemon as a franchise might be filthy rich and shit, yes. Filthy Rich, extremely talented, but they're still human beings. Exactly. That's exactly what I was about to say. They are still humans. They are not machines that work for us. They are human beings that are trying to do a job and make money to, at the very least, A, make their company continue, and B, keep a roof over their employees' heads. While, yes, they will still create Pokemon games and do their best to make it that we like them, they are not going to work themselves to death to do two sets of remakes. Of two of the same game. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's basically just a slightly different story. From in Black, White, and Black 2, or Black and White and Black 2 and White 2, I should say, they are the same region just with a slightly different story and i don't feel like it would be necessary mm. if they were to do it they would have to bring it out in maybe generation 10 as one game where you go through black and white yeah and then after that once you've gone through black and white one, you then get an option to play to in black and white two. Yeah. That would be the most ideal situation yeah, for me. Yeah, people asking constantly for the third or game. As much as I'd like that, it will never happen. I was on a, it was a GameCube series. <laughs> it was too long at this point to continue it without some re release. Yeah. 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 Um. Because the all region was Colosseum and Gale of Darkness. Um, I never got to play those games. I would like to see an all game. I would like to see the all region from my own eyes. Rather than through the eyes of like someone playing the games. But you know, it can't be helped. Um... But I just feel like black and white and black, white, black 2 and white 2 is definitely not ideal to do a remake of. And I, it's the same with Gen 7. Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I don't think we'll get a remake. Got one. I can potentially see X and Y getting a remake. Potentially. Maybe. 
Because that's not that hard. That's kind of, that's what they'll do yeah. with what they're trying to do with Diamond and Pearl, where they'll literally just split the game between. Yeah, because X and Y and is... the ending. X and Y <laughs> is the Kalos region. So you're in France. Green, are you not coming to get Pikachu's, by the way? Uh, he's probably doing something. What I can say is, I love Gale of Darkness. I didn't play it until about 2016, and it became my favorite game of all time. Yeah. Uh, is it definitely the right code this time? 2706, 2020. Yeah. Yeah, like, I wouldn't mind an all region game. Oh shit, my battery's about to die. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Need to get it on charge. Shit. Wrong wire. Wrong wire. Um, but yeah, personally, I do not see black and white, and black two and white two, or sun and moon and ultra sun and ultra moon get remakes. I personally do not see that. If that were to happen, then God help. Um, the people working. Just God help Game Freak for and the Pokemon Company, because they will be. Are uh, in dire need of uh, saving. Because <laughs> um, at the end of the day, as I said, they are humans. There's only so much you can do. Um, after this and after I've charged my controller, do you want to go on Mario and finish that off, babe? <laughs> well, uh, this is gonna be my last raid because my my controller needs charging. You're fine to carry on trying to catch these guys, but yeah, this is gonna be my last raid for the stream. You're fine saying that because you've caught about seven of them. I've caught two. I don't even think I've caught two. I've caught one. <laughs> two. Um, plus, I also want to make the rest of that pasta that I've got as and such as well. So, yeah. I want to get some food. And then, I, if we're not going to do Mario, I guess I could um, try and finish off my Lucia this time. Just because I really want to kick his ass after yesterday. We can do Mario, I just want more than fucking one Pikachu. <laughs> but yeah. No, I... Like... So yeah, we've gone through the Pokemon Presents stuff. And we did a nice, healthy, one hour, 30 minute stream. So I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I was gonna say we could do Mario for our anniversary tomorrow mm. if you really want. Sure, yeah, but and be fair, you can just stay on Pokemon then and then just like do the camping, or we could do I'm 99% sure that I've done my Pokedex, but I'm not 100%. I think you have, because I'm pretty sure you've got everything now. You can have a look like, but I'm sure you have done your Pokedex and everything. But we can do the camping that we were meant to be doing. No, oh, yeah, the uh, the cooking ducks. Or if you do some Dynamax raids or hmm. Dynamax Adventures, should I say? Just I'm going to need to charge my controller, that's all. Can you not play with it while you're charging it? It's what I'm doing now, but the wire is obviously not long enough to reach my bed, so... Is it on the edge of your bed? That's what I'm doing now, and remember, my bed is just literally wooden beams and that's it. Get on the floor! You're big enough! No! I'm uncomfortable on the floor. Lie! 
What do you mean, lie? Lie like on the side of the bed. Oh no, I'll end up falling off. What the fuck are you on? Be, be better at balancing. It's not me that I'd need to balance, it'd be the bed that I'd need to balance me. Am I the only one alive now? Yeah, how the hell did I die? What did I die from? Oh, go back on stream and find out. Oh. Oh, that was shit. Go back on stream and find out. Nah, I'm good. I spoke to the three viewers who are watching. I'll be Crown's Guard, you, and uh, Greenview. And Greenview um, said I'll be right back, so he's AFK right now. Sammy Voice is not liking you. Oh, yeah, he's got Max Skyver, that'll be from Surf. Ooh. Oh, shit, Nasty Plot 2? Fuck. I didn't know he had that. Oh, you let me have a fucking go anytime soon? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, this is your power construct one. Fuck it, how? Now what? I've got 12,000 health. Pretty much. Oh. <laughs> I mean, ah. you're still gonna hit like a freaking truck, to be fair, babe. I won't worry too much. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but he's only needs to kill one, he is. Right? But we move first. Keeps doing his fucking stupid ability changes, my lot. Uh, his nasty plot does special attack, no speed, huh? Oh, yeah. Land's Wrath, come at me, cunt. Close combat time. Helping hand! Ah! Boom! See ya, Pikachu! Barely. Barely. Just... Dust ball. Dust ball. Let's go. Two, three, one more. Four, thanks for. Hmm. 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 Hmm
Yeah, I need to. I need to train on my Lady Drago. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I think I need to train up uh, the EC as well. Let me see. Um, yeah. So I uh, need to do me Reggie Rock. Me Reggie Steel. And me Reggie Ice as well. Yeah, I need to train all three of them up. Plus me Reggie Gigas. And me Reggie Drago. It's literally only my Reggie Lecky that I touched down on their Reggie. <laughs> oh, God. Blimey. That's insane. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go. I need to go cook some pasta. With some uh, sauce as well. May as well try and make it tasty. Um, and I shall see you all a bit later. Um... Not sure what I feel like doing. I feel like beating the shit out of Malusha. But we might do some curry decks instead with the camping. So yeah. Um, and I think with that one I might do some battles after the curry decks stuff. If we do do that. We can battle each other. Yeah we could do. JK don't have all the Pokemon in Isle of Armor apparently. Do you not? No. Which ones are you missing? Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm missing. How many is in Isle of Armor hooked at? I've got 201. Two hundred and eleven. I'm missing 10. What the hell? How are you missing 10? No, I don't. That's insane. Because you've got the status, don't you? Yeah. Right, hold on. No! I need Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. So you don't have 68, 69, or 70? Nope. I need Zero Arc, apparently still. I need. Zoroark, no Zoroark. I need Pinsir. Is Pinsir my version? I thought I bred mm. these all for you before. I need Trocorock. I need whatever 187 is. I need 197. 200. 205. That's it. 187 is Volcarona. 197 is Claw Itza. So you should have a Claw Itza then, because you didn't say 196. What were your other numbers? Uh, 200. 200, that's Kingdra, so you've got a Seizure, I believe. Yeah. Alright, well, um, have to get on to that then. I thought you literally... F I thought we finished your Pokedex. Okay. Anyway, right. Uh, so yeah, I'll go cook my pasta. And I shall see you all later, guys. Bye.